Hello and welcome to bettingnews.boilsports.com. I'm Nicola McGeady and I'm joined by Leon Blanche to preview this year's Grand National. The countdown is definitely underway. The meeting starts on Thursday, but I suppose the big race that everyone's looking forward to is on Saturday, the Grand National. Yeah. Um, now we are paying out on five places, which is great. Um, big Father Thanks is the favourite, but this is really a lucky dip. Yeah, it is. You know, look, all we have to do is have a look at the winner last year. Mon Moan was 100 to 1 yeah. uh, when he won. Uh, the greatest race on earth. It just captures the whole imagination and that's why here at Boyle Sports we're giving you an extra place the first five places. Um, Big Fella Tanks is the favourite Nicola and probably a worthy favourite. He ran a decent race last year when he was only a novice um, in his trial before the Grand National Barry Geraghty was actually on board and Ruby Walsh was on the favourite Pasco that day. Okay. Barry Garrity won the race on Big Fella Tanks and hence Ruby Walsh is now on Big Fella Tanks for the Nationals. So Ruby is a good judge and he's on the favourite. Let's have a look down through a couple of them who people will be looking for a little bit of each way value because as you rightly said, any horse can win this race as that was proven last year. Mon Moam, last year's winner, ran an absolute blinder to be third in the Cheltenham Gold Cup. Now many have viewed that as the best possible trial. I have my doubts. I think Mon Moam, um, is progressing. He will be spot on for the day, but a ten to one to me, there's no value. Do you often see a horse do a double in the Grand um, National? No, not that, no, not that often, no, you don't. But all we have to do is look at last year. Comply or die finished second. He won the he race won in two thousand and eight. So it can happen. I'm sure Venetia Williams will have Mon Moam spot on for the day, but he's too short for my eyes. Okay. The Irish have a very strong hand, but there's a couple of determining factors that we're going to need to take into consideration. Arbor Supreme is trained by Willie Mullins, is owned by J.P. McManus, and many people felt that McCoy would ride Arbor Supreme, but he's not. Young Paul Townend has been given a dream chance of winning a Grand National in only his second ride in the race. The only thing I would say to fans of Arbor Supreme is keep an eye on the weather forecast. The more sunshine, the better his chances. He doesn't want soft ground. He wants good, quick racing ground. If that comes up on the day, the one thing you can be sure of with Arbor Supreme is he will stay all day, so the trip won't be a problem. He's a decent jumper. He is a little bit quirky, but I'm a big fan of Paul Townend. I think he's going to go right to the top of this game. Okay, well, last year, as you said, 100 to 1, one moment was. If you had to pick an outside shot, because I know people like to <sighs> put a few quid on the big prices, yeah. who, who would you go first? Um, the one horse I'm looking at now, I know he's not 100 to 1, and his odds have almost halved, is a winner of a Galway place in 2009 called Bally Holland. Right. Um, Andrew McNamara will be in the saddle. He won the Irish Grand National on Blue Sea Cracker, so he's full of confidence. He's going over to Aintree to try and make a two Grand Nationals in a week. And I know that they quietly fancy this Bally Holland. He's around about a 20 to 1 chance. Might be a little bit bigger on the day. Okay. So I would give Bally Holland definitely an each way chance. Okay, so... Final pick, who's going to win the Grand National League? Who's going to win the Grand National? I'm going to stick with a horse called Black Appalachie. Okay. Trained by Desi Hughes, who's got two in the race. He's also got Vic Venturi. But Black Appalachie is my win bet. He's won at Aintree before. He will appreciate the big testing fences. And I know that Desi Hughes is quietly confident about Black Appalachie. Okay, well, it's a hard race to tip up, but I'm going to hold you to it. Thanks, Leon. And what about Nicola McGeady? Who is she going for in uh, the Grand National? I'm going to go with Mon Moan because I had ah. Comply or Die before and um, he did really well. So you think it me. could so be back to back? I'm going to go with the double again, yeah. Back to back. So McGeady going for Mon Moan, Blanche going for a Black Appalachie. Let's see who's right.